I had quite an interesting introduction to church planting. It wasn't one by conviction. It was um, a very pragmatic one, if I'm honest. That is, it w was proving to be the way that I could actually marry my girlfriend in that it gave me a house and a job. And so I got involved in church planting by accident, uh, a happy accident as it happened in that I did marry her. Um, and she's been my wife for over 30 years, which is just delight. Um, so I'm very thankful for church planting, but uh, it did, it did, I became intoxicated with church planting as a result of it. Um, and uh, I was in a, a small village uh, in, in, in a, a part of Shropshire, uh, and it was quite an experience, but one in which I learned many uh, important lessons of, of ministry, uh, of engaging with people in appropriate ways, of, of seeing, as it were, gaps in the local cultural scene and, and seeing opportunities to meet those needs, uh, meet those gaps, as it were, fill those gaps with, uh, with some gospel content. Um, and, and so I think in that first year of ministry, of church planting, I learned to be uh, responsive. Uh, I learned uh, to take risks. Um, I learned the, really the, the, the joy of, of, of living a life around the gospel so that my first year of marriage was in a brand new church plant situation where it was just me and my young bride who were planting a church together. Um, and so we didn't have time uh, to ourselves, as it were, uh, in terms of extended period of time where we could just learn to be married. We learned to be married in the context of ministry. And that was a, such a helpful foundation for uh, over 30 years of ministry. Uh, and I'd recommend it to anyone.